Hello students. In this lecture, we will study first order and second order low pass filter and high pass filter. We will see the expression for the gain of first order low pass filter. As it is first order low pass filter, so it requires only one RC network. And this is the low pass filter, first order low pass filter. Now this configuration is a non-inverting amplifier as input is given to the non-inverting terminal. So this is a non-inverting amplifier and one RC network. Now here for the expression, we should know that Xc, that is the capacitive reactance is equal to 1 upon 2 pi Fc. And this Fh indicates the cutoff frequency of a low pass filter and one it will be 1 upon 2 pi Rc. AVF denotes the passband gain of the filter and as it is a non-inverting amplifier, this gain is 1 plus RF upon R1. Now, uh, we, we wish to uh, express the gain of the filter. So, gain of the filter is nothing but the output voltage divided by input. So, V upon V in. For this, first of all, we will find out the potential at this point V1. V1, it's a voltage divider network. V1 is nothing but the voltage across this capacitor. So V1 is equal to minus Jxc, that is the C capacitor is minus, minus Jxc divided by R minus Jxc into V. Now for this minus Jxc, Xc put Xc is equal to 1 upon 2 pi Fc. So J minus J upon 2 pi Fc, similarly R minus J upon 2 pi Fc into V. Now in this term is as it is j minus j upon 2 pi fc. In between we are taking the LCM of this 2 pi fc. So this becomes 2 pi fc r fc r minus j. So this this will get cancelled. Now v1 is equal to minus j upon 2 pi f rc minus j into v in. Now here some modification we are making. This term we are multiplying and divide by j into v in. So j square is equal to minus 1. So this is j square is minus 1. This minus 1 becomes plus 1. So this v in. So v in upon this j, j, j square is minus 1. So this quantity, this term will becomes 1. And this as it is j 2 pi f r c. So v in, v1 is this. Now filter output v o is given by output of this filter v o is equal to gain of this circuit AVF into the input given to this that is V1. So V1 is equal to AVF into V1. Now that we should know that V1 is equal to AVF into V1. V1 is equal to AVF that is into V1. We are putting the value of V1 from expression number 1 that is V1 Vn upon 1 plus J 2 pi FRC. Now put FH cut up in 1 upon 2 pi RC. That means 2 pi RC is equal to 1 upon FH. So 2 pi RC that is nothing but 1 upon FH. So this quantity becomes F upon FH. So we are writing VO. We are taking VN in this side. VO upon VN is equal to AVF 1 plus J F upon FH. Now modulus of this magnitude of this filter gain. We are writing in this way. Mod of VO upon VN. Modulation AVF. This is nothing but x plus j y. So the magnitude of this is nothing but under root x square plus y square. That means under root 1 square plus f upon f h square. So this becomes a v f upon under root 1 plus f upon f h square. So this is the expression of the low pass filter gain. The expression of the low pass filter gain. There are, see, the, for the frequency response, there are three cases we'll study. There are three cases. That means frequency is less than the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter, FH. This view upon VN. F is less. That means this quantity is less. So what happens? If this quantity is less, this will be very less and square of this becomes very, very much less. So 1 plus very, very less value, this becomes 1. So in this case, this gain is approximately equal to AVF as this denominator tends to 1. This is the first case. Then if input frequency, frequency of the input signal is greater than the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter, that means this is greater. 
So that means this will be a larger value. So, so this overall gain of the filter will decreases. That means it will be less than AVF decreasing. And one more case, if input frequency is equal to exact cutoff frequency of the low-pass filter, that time this and this are equal. So this quantity becomes 1, 1 plus 1 under root 2. So it becomes AVF upon under root 2. 1 upon under root 2 is nothing but 0 0.707 AVF. Now these three cases, from this we can draw the frequency response of a first order low pass filter. Now frequency response, that means the frequency on x axis, uh, gain on y axis and we are writing, we are taking zero frequency, this is cut off, this indicates the cut off frequency fh. Now all of you know that at the starting, if the frequency, input frequency is less than fh, that time gain is avf. And then it will decreasing as the gain frequency of the input signal is more than the cutoff frequency. It decreases. And as per the definition of the cutoff frequency, it will be a 3 dB frequency. That means this is the frequency of the input signal at which the gain is reduced by an amount of 0 0.707 of maximum value. That is AVF. So that is FH. So in this portion, this band is called as a pass band because the output voltage is high. And in this will be the reject band or stop band, we can say. So this is the frequency response of the low pass filter. Now we will move to the first order high pass filter. Now first order high pass filter. Now for this first order high pass filter, what is this is the circuit diagram of the first order high pass filter. What is the difference in the low pass, first order low pass filter and high pass filter? You note that here the one RC network similar to that of the low pass filter, but resistance is connected in shunt. That is the difference in low pass filter and high pass filter. It is similarly a non-inverting amplifier, only RC, one RC network. And this is a circuit of a uh, first order high pass filter. Now, ideal response, if you want, I will ideal frequency response of this as is the frequency and the gain. And in this, as it's a high pass filter, that means the frequency above the cutoff frequency, input frequency is above the cutoff frequency, that time we are getting the gain more. So that is the pass band and this is stop band. And EFL indicates the cutoff frequency of a high pass filter. Cutoff frequency of a high pass filter. Now we'll go for now we'll see uh, now we'll see that here RF and R1 decide the pass band gain, pass band gain of this. And this is as it is a non-inverting amplifier, it will be AVF is equal to 1 plus RF upon R1. Now we'll see the expression for the gain, the expression for the gain of high pass filter, first order high pass filter. Similarly, we'll find out V1. V1 is equal to what? The voltage across this resistance R. So that is R minus R, R divided by R minus Jxc into V in. As we know that x is equal to 1 upon 2 pi Fc. So we are putting this value over here. R upon R minus J upon 2 pi Fc into V in. Similarly, we are simplifying it r r 2 pi fc r plus 1 upon j 2 pi fc we are taking j1 uh, denominator so this becomes 1 r plus j 1 upon 2 pi fc into v in so we are taking r upon here is nothing but r j 2 pi fc r j r j 2 pi fc r plus 1 and divide by j 2 pi fc so we are taking on this side. So this becomes J 2 pi FCR divided by 1 plus J 2 pi FCR into V in modification. Now V1 is equal to, now we are putting here, FL is the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter and it is 1 upon 2 pi RC. That means this 2 pi RC is nothing but 1 upon FL. So here see 2 pi RC, it is nothing but 1 upon FL. So we are putting this, V1 is equal to J upon F upon F1 divided by 1 plus J, 1 plus, this is 1 plus J F upon FL, J is there. 
now we are writing vo is equal to output output voltage of the gain uh, high pass filter is equal to avf into v1 vo is equal to avf we are putting the value of v1 here j f upon fl divided by 1 plus j f upon fl v in filter gain is nothing but vo upon v in so filter gain vo upon v in is equal to avf into j f upon fl 1 plus j f upon fl we are taking the modulus of this magnitude of this gain v upon v in so avf mod of this is nothing but under root f upon fl whole square that is nothing but f upon fl similarly this is under root 1 square plus f upon fl square under root 1 plus f upon fl square now here f upon fl so i will write here once again avf f upon fl under root 1 plus f upon fl square now we are taking this f upon fl this side in the denominator f upon fl v upon fl if i am taking f upon fl over here f upon fl sorry fl upon f so we multiplied it by fl upon f fl upon f here we are taking so this becomes uh, avf under root 1 plus fl upon f whole square now this is the expression of a first order high pass filter now here again three cases we'll see f input frequency less than fl this input frequency is less than fl so this becomes more value greater value as this will be larger value so good filter gain will reduce or decrease during this frequency range if f is greater than fl that means f is greater so it will be very less than 1 so square is also become very very less so this will be a, a equal to <clears throat> this will be very less so this quantity will be 1 so that that time the filter gain is approximately equal to avf if f is equal to fl with this will be same then this becomes avf upon under root 2 and uh, 1 upon under root 2 is nothing but 0 0.707 avf if you are taking this into consideration then we can draw the frequency response also now for this frequency response if you see that if the uh, for this frequency response we can see here for this uh, frequency response of a uh, first order high pass filter if frequency is less than cutoff frequency of this the gain is increasing that means if frequency is greater than cutoff frequency of a high pass filter gain is equal to avf if it is less then it will be decreasing and we are getting a cutoff frequency 3 db or 0 0.707 of avf frequency at which the gain is 0 0.707 of avf so we are getting such type of frequency response and here we can write gain is increases in this portion at the rate of 20 db per decade is the frequency response now we'll see the second order high pass filter second order high pass filter what will be the second order high pass filter see in the second order high pass filter uh, as this is already is two there are two rc networks this r3 c3 and r2 c2 these are the two rc networks uh, in first order there are only one rc network second order two rc networks and you see that this r2 is connected to the output r2 is connected to the output and this r1 rf all other are similar to that of the first order high pass filter only difference note that the difference is that for the second order high pass filter there are two rc networks and they are denoted as r2 c2 and r3 c3 now if you see the frequency response of a second order high pass filter what will be the change we are getting if the frequency input frequency is greater than the cutoff frequency that time we are getting the gain is equal to avf that already we studied then if the frequency is less than fl gain is decreasing that means as the gain decreases and this this gain will be 40 db per decade as it is a second order uh, high pass filter now 
here we'll see the cutoff frequency FL is determined by for the second order high-pass filter. For the first order high-pass filter, it will be defined as FL is equal to 1 upon 2 pi RC. But for cutoff frequency of the second order high-pass filter, we are writing FL is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root R2 C2 R3 C3 as it is two networks R2 C2 and R3 C3. Now filter, now we are not going for this second order high pass filter. We are not going for deriving the expression for the uh, filter gain. But we can correlate this uh, expression with first order high pass filter. Filter gain of a second order high pass filter magnitude is given by AVF under root 1 plus FL upon F raised to 4. So what is the difference in first order low pass? First order low pass filter, it was 2. Second, second order low pass filter, it is 4. That is the difference. So you remember this expression of a gain of a second order high pass filter. Now for this, where AVF is equal to 1 plus RF upon R1, that is pass band gain of the filter. F is the frequency of the input signal in hertz and FL is also cutoff frequency. Now, next uh, video lecture, we'll solve few examples, uh, design of a filter, low pass filter and high pass filters. Now, for this design process, for the second order low pass filter, you remember that, note that for the simplification of the design process, we are keeping R2, R3 of equal value of R and C2 and C3 of equal value C. Generally, uh, the, the range of the C, we can choose 0 0.001 microfarad to 0 0.1 microfarad. And note that we know that the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter FL is equal to 1 upon 2 pi RC. From this, R and C are unknown. So choose C and calculate R. That is the first part. So we can calculate RC. And as we are keeping R and C are equal value, put uh, the same value in the design circuit. And pass band gain, you know that AVF is equal to 1 plus RF upon R1. Second order high pass filter. As we are considering the equal value of R and C, then you remember that that time AVF, that is the pass band gain of a high pass filter, second order high pass filter, is we have to maintain 1.586. That means if it is not given in the design specification, you should, as we are considering R and R2 and C capacitor of equal value, then gain will be 1.586 that you have to remember. And please once again you note that I will repeat it for the simplification of the design. We are keeping R2 and R3 and C2 and C3 of equal value. If you are putting this equal value, then gain, uh, pass band gain of that filter will be 1.586. If it is not mentioned, Sometimes not mentioned, you have to remember that it will be 1.586. If it is 1.586, then RF and R1 are unknown. Choose RF and calculate R1. This is the process of a designing of a filter. In next lecture, we will solve few examples of the design of first order and second order low pass and high pass filter. Thank you.